All right, everybody, we are back with another reaction, reaction video for more Wheel of Time content. And Jeff, what are we even looking at here? I don't even know what this is. You I, just, you texted I, I me out of the blue and you were like, we need to get online immediately. And then it took us a whole another day to do it anyway. But what, what is this? It did. Uh, this So this is, thank goodness I go on Reddit Fantasy. I don't know why it wasn't coming up on my YouTube feed, but this apparently uh, is... Algorithm fail, man. Algorithm fail. Know. Come on, YouTube. What are you doing? Come on, this is the core yeah, audience right here. Uh, so uh, I heard about this wine springing clip, which one, I mean, okay, cool. Like I'll take a, a second. I mean, it's, it's still not called a trailer. It's called a clip. So it's just like a piece of the show with the wine springing. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll, t I'll take what I can get off. Give me it, you know, I'll t pump it straight into my veins. I'm fine with that. Um, and I, I started to watch it and I was like, what am I doing watching this? Like, so I can do the reaction with you, obviously. And I was also just, I mean, there's all the feels, Steve. There's mm -hmm. all the feels. So I'm going to, I'm just going to wait. Means, I'm, but... I'm, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you get in maybe. It doesn't sound seconds. good. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> It just, I have a bad feeling about this, y'all. I, I mean, I'm feels, scared feels for our mentions. Good. I'm scared there's for our lot, mentions. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of emotions <laughs> flying around now, in when, my body. Here's the other thing. When yeah. you texted me, I did not yeah. remember which right. in this was or know, was which like, part we and then i realized yeah. we've been in like 800 ins in this first book <laughs> so far <laughs> and i had no idea what are is the white screen? bridge in is this oh the, is this the two no. rivers in two this isn't two rivers I mean, in. Yes. that was a different book no that's, that's it called, no it's that's rivers. called wine spring that's probably why i didn't remember because that was like 500 yeah. some pages Forever ago, ago. <laughs> okay I, you think he's exaggerating? Of course he's not. It was, <laughs> it was five or so pages ago. Not. <laughs> okay. okay, here we go. I'm excited. Let's oh. check it out. How did the ceremony go today? I don't know, actually. We, uh, Good. Stop, please. I haven't talked to you. So that's Good. Perrin. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's Perrin. That's Rand. All right. Right there. Is is Perrin taller than Rand? You better not be. <laughs> I just noticed this. Oh, well, they're Rand, both Rand, They're both hyper tall, right? No? Rand better be slouching. No, the whole thing is like Rand's taller than everybody else. Well, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, his um, eyes don't look Perrin, gray either, but Perrin, I mean, what Perrin do you is do? big. Well, I mean, you can at least do heights. Anyway, okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Well, it's just the height is like a thing that gets commented on so often, even in the chapters you were just reading, right? With, mm. I don't want to give spoilers, but it's a through line. The gray eye, whatever, guys. But um, I don't want gray eyes. Anyway, point is, that's like a little... Demand too. gray eyes. <laughs> okay, so the reason, the reason I ask you to stop is all of my, all of my fears have have come to pass in with, that, with that in what we just saw right there <laughs> that's not possible we just we all, saw of, all of my fears all of my fears <laughs> is it the faux like, like new folk it's soundtrack just, i felt no. like what was that like banjo i feel like that's like one of those bands that came out no, like well, 10 yeah. years ago that when like it was a folk revival no. i like expected one of those singers to, to jump around. i've I'm fine with the music. I'm fine with the semi-dark quality. I mean, obviously, the fact that we're getting some random scene that doesn't even exist in the books. Why? When there's so much to cover. Whatever. Maybe it's awesome. But Heron says... Yeah, because he doesn't make it tonight in town, right? No, like, they go no, back home, no, and then no, we have Trollic sure. Attack. I'm telling Spoilers, you, man, there's going to be, like, way Spoilers. more... Oh, did I just spoil? Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> Now we got to put on the thing. Anyway, what is? It's not as bad as um, I don't know. There was this, oh, I don't know. Anyway, point. Is, I'm not getting into it. People have been spoiling on these reaction videos. We're trying our best not to, but be that as it may, some stuff may slip. The reason I'm saying this is all my fears right now is Perrin just said, "How did this ceremony go?" Which means mm. that in the original trailer, the whole thing with Nynaeve and Egwene and shoving her over a cliff into water. Some sort of stupid, ridiculous wisdom training. 
that they decided to just shoehorn right in there. Now, I've talked with a lot of people about this from our previous I, I stopped reading the comments after. Oh, I'm talk, no, I'm talking to everybody. I'm talking to everybody in the reply. I didn't know if I'll be able to do that again for this one, but I, the last one, I did. And here's here's the thing. Listen, I get this this thing about that the director decided to age up the cast for some asinine reason. Whatever, no. They aged up so there can be sex. So, sure, fine, whatever. Even though that's not what she was about. I mean, look at Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings does fine. Is, is this the way the Amazon interpretation is going to be? We're going to age up the hobbits so we can have some hobbit sex? Because this is what this is what's happening? Anyway, I'm just... Anyway. Yeah, point I'm for it. So, hobbit sex. <laughs> so, fine. You age them up, fine. And you want a little more adult theme, fine, sure. But then because of that, they're like, oh, well, if Egwene is older, obviously she would have to go through mm-hmm. wisdom training. Mm-hmm. And like some point, like she'd have to, like, you know... Be official. Okay, okay, yeah. That's a fair point. That's, that's a fair point. Sure, fine. But but if you do that, I'm not even talking about the ridiculous training. I'm going to get there. If you do that, then that means, and I am going to spoil this. Spoilers, you want to jump over this part, but I don't think it's that big. If Egwene has committed to being the next wisdom of Edmund's room by going through the initiation and becoming a wisdom or whatever, a wisdom in training, some whatever... I do not see her gallivanting away with these boys. The exciting thing about Egwene, the reason why so many people love Egwene is because she is not the reluctant hero. She is the counterpoint to these guys that are often complaining about like, oh, it would be an adventure, right? And like, sure, fine, I understand that's a legit reaction. I'm okay to have some of that. But Egwene is great because she wants it. She's there for it. She's excited for her future and destiny and getting out there and seeing the world. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, like, she wants to do that and Rand doesn't is a point of conflict between them. And for her to just then, like, do that after becoming the wisdom, I feel like they're going to do something where it's like, oh, because I'm the wisdom, it's now my role to, like, protect Rand and Perrin and Matt and stuff or something stupid like that, as opposed to just her wanting an adventure. I feel like the Gwen is like us. We want that adventure. And you're just going to take it away from her. Because if you do that, if you then just have her say, oh, no, actually, forget this. I want an adventure. Then she's just chucking her responsibility to the town that she committed to by agreeing to go through the initiation. And that is not who Egwene is. I can't say examples without spoilers, but later in the books, Egwene is awesome because she takes on responsibility. And mm. she goes with it. Oh, it's just, mm. oh. But I mean, Jeff, isn't, wasn't she already down that track? I mean, she was already being Nynaeve's she was second. Yeah. yeah. So she, sure. and like, so She's yeah, she assistant. was already, like, if none of this stuff yeah. had happened, most likely she sure. would have kept going and done I agree. wisdom training, whatever. I agree. But doing the initiation means like giving her word that she would like do something more than that like by going through the initiation and she doesn't commit to things she doesn't follow through with. So like it's an it's an honor character aspect of her and they're just robbing her of that by doing this. And and that doesn't even get into what the heck does delivering babies and setting broken legs have to do with being shoved off of a cliff into a running stream? Be brave. Be bra- for what? Like this it's you don't need to swim to be a wisdom. Like, it makes no sense. It's just visually cool. So they're doing, like, all this unnecessary stuff that actually undermines the plot, makes no, it makes the world seem ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's how we roll into rivers. When we train wisdom, we just shove them off cliffs, <laughs> hope they don't drown. We lose some wisdoms that way, so we train up a couple. Let's get to have some backups. Like, what? Like, this makes no sense for the world at all. I can't wait for our mentions. Oh, there's the there's the sigh, everyone. The trademark sigh. So let me let me counterpoint anyway. real quick to this. Yeah, I don't forward. know Please. future Please. books. Please. I don't know what goes on yeah. with Egg and this, you know, sure. carrying through on her responsibilities, blah blah blah, sort of thing is. Because that yeah. characterization 
you know, the characterization that you're talking about is pretty mm. lightly sketched in the books. Like, we've kind of gone away from, mm. oh, she wants adventure. Yeah. She's been actually kind of miserable as far as I've been in the books recently. Yeah. You know, yeah. things have not been going well on that adventure. There's been, I don't True. know, too many it's crows. It's been bumpy. You know? <laughs> One it's too many crows adventure. happening. Uh, it wasn't so, like the books. Yeah. So, like, it wasn't... That was didn't seem like super huge to me. Secondly, yeah. I don't know about this responsibility thing, but if yeah. if this makes the consequence of her decision to leave more intense, yeah. I'm kind of for it. If it's kind of like, oh, this I, makes uh, leaving a little bit harder or a little bit more impactful, yeah. that I could guess. play pretty well. Well, I'm sure they're doing it too to give. I'm just, I'm just, it's, it's a spoiler. It's not. Oh, news, no. But if you want to jump this part, it's tiny. Okay. If, if you want, uh, uh, it's a spoiler. But I mean, we have to. I think the reason they're justifying it in their heads is they're thinking, oh, this gives even more of a reason for Nynaeve to track them down, mm. right? Like, if not, mm. not only is she going to like protect anyone from the two rivers, right. but she's going to go get her assistant. That she went to go ball at her assistant, be like, "Hey, hey, you did the initiation, right?" So I do think they are looking to increase Nynaeve's justification for it, right? Mm -hmm. um, for sure. But e even if we take all of it out, which I still like, believe is undermining future grand character. Fine. Even if we're like, okay, but it's worth it. It's worth it because it creates added conflict and it makes it to where like Nynaeve. Uh, is have is more justified and going to get them creates a bigger scene between Nynaeve and Egwene like how could you leave right all this stuff yeah it still makes no sense <laughs> that to be trying to be a wisdom you're pushed off a cliff in running water yes I understand as a lot a of tradition doesn't make any sense no but it makes <sighs> it's, it doesn't, it's not <laughs> I would say most tradition doesn't really make any sense <laughs> no there's totally like some connection somewhere like and the, the reason people like it is because it's her in the water, and that's like, you know, an allegory to uh, the Saedir and the true... So, oh, no, okay. no, to like, <laughs> to controlling Saedir, the female half the true uh, source, uh, okay. is like accepting the flow of the water. And yeah, that's all cool, but they, they don't know anything about that. So are they going to go with like, well, we got this tradition that was passed down through the ages of shoving a woman in the water and making sure that she just sort of accepts being part of the river because we don't really realize where that came from as like an old controlling the power tradition, but we just sort of like held on to it over time. Like this is, this is what they're going to do to like justify it. And there's going to be some people who are like, oh, that's so brilliant. Like that's so, that's so cool. And I just can't. Anyway, it's can, gonna be epic. Like 10, it's gonna be epic watching seconds, the series 30 with 30 you because, like, this seems so <laughs> minor to me. Like, I can't even. I just can't. I, <laughs> I can't. can't even grok what the no, this, problem this is, is here. This is everything. No, but see, this just goes to show where they're at. Like, this this tells me the mindset of the creators mm -hmm. when they're like, "Oh no, no, I got this. Right. No, nope. no, it's cool. It's cool. I, I'm just gonna put my own little like." been on this like there's so much for you to cover there's so much you need to cut out of this what are you doing adding this whole extra weird side plot what am i missing because you want to shoehorn in this weird thing that you thought oh no it all, it all i can't wait for the roles to be completely reversed and i'm like this show rocks and you're like i hate <laughs> this and then like when we're reading the book I'm like, I don't understand what's going on or why any of this is happening. And you're like, this is the greatest no, work of literature I already told you, ever written. I, already told you. I was in the whole series. As a parent, it's not the first time. But yeah, but I'm with you. I mean, I already said I think you're going to like this show better because it's going to cut out all the parts you find boring, mm -hmm. right? Which mm -hmm. I, I think, yeah, like, sure, like, make it for an audience, cut out the boring parts. I've got no problems with that. But yeah, this just this makes me worried about the minds of the people. And Steve, you'll see the part where I stopped watching this because like I couldn't help myself. I clicked on it. I saw. Yeah. I saw this. I saw there was like someone punch me in the gut, and then oh. just a little bit later, I just get you just get kicked in the nuts. Go ahead. All right, here yeah, we go. I, didn't, I didn't watch that. That is that is yeah. some hype. I'm hyped. Okay, <laughs> you just hyped it up hardcore. Let's keep, go. Keep here. keep going. Keep going. I'm sure she's just busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> what is this to Clint Eastwood? 
squid just walk in? What happened? <laughs> so there's Name yourself, stranger. Well, I mean, we know this is land, right? Land Mondragoran. Yeah, please, please, just... This is my reign. <laughs> wait, 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 what did he just say? This is my what? I don't know. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't even get that far. I didn't even get that far. Okay, so um, in the book, they've yeah. like they've been hanging out in the inn, but like haven't been yeah. shown to anybody. Like when Rand discovers them, right? They've like already been yeah. there, but they haven't been out and about. And they run into Moraine first, right? Uh, Don't they run into her and they're like all like all we all they, love they her. her. And yeah, no, they definitely the run into her and she's talked to him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's definitely on the street. All that. I just can't remember if like uh, they. I just can't remember if in the text like they spotted land first or something mm. like that. But yeah, no, it's totally. It's a layered reveal. Mm. Like it's mm. there's so much skill in storytelling in that part, and this just became. Sorry, if you got thoughts first, you can. I took it first. I mean, it was the got, walking in yeah. and everybody stops, literally stops drinking and turns to stare at him was. <laughs> <laughs> pretty like comical was pretty like i was like that's a that's just, just the biggest cliche yeah, exactly, ever yeah. you know <laughs> uh, yeah no yeah i mean if if robert jordan was writing this one to go the super easy boring way of let's have the mysterious figures who deal in darkness and we're traveling outside when it's dangerous oh my goodness they're shrouded in so much mystery <sighs> anyway um so yeah no the, the beauty Beauty of the book is that there's this layered reveal. Uh, well, number one, oh, no, lost it, lost it. I'm so emotional. <laughs> I'm so emotional. You all are witnessing so a breakdown emotional. right now, live on camera. Lizzie, I'm Lizzie. Okay. The beauty of the story is that number one, Rand is initially just excited to get to town. Just just to town, right? Like that's different than the walking. And then he sees the shrouded figure and that becomes mysterious. Who is this? Am I just making stuff up? We get to learn about him and his father and their relationship, which is of course super important for a lot of motivation le le like later in the series. Then they get to town and then they're excited because there's going to be a peddler. And just a peddler, just a peddler is a huge deal. You know, like someone that comes to town has stuff, has gossip, like that's huge. And that gives you such a sense of like scale and where we are in the world of like, oh, I am not in my regular world where I just have access to everything instantly. People are pumped to get to just hear stories from the next town over. And it sets the stage. It, it emphasizes the small town nature of where they're at for then their journey later, something I was harping on the last one as well. Then after that, then we get this added bonus of like, oh my goodness, I die in a water. Oh, those are only in store. What? And it just keeps like upping the ante of what's there. And it just have it be this was like everybody in Edmonds Field, like in the end, because I mean, this is this post Beltine, which happened to align with the wisdom ceremony. Like, why is everyone in here? Why are we worried about this? Why? Yeah. So anyway, I think like just, part of the thing is, I mean, I yeah. thought that was pretty cheesy entrance, but I think part of the problem is, is that you are really thinking this is structured in any way like the book, and like I am not sure that is true. I think they well, might be saying. going really far afield. So like this whole thing about yeah. the winter's night and like all this, yeah. like I probably gone you know like this is very different so I, it might be hard to kind of judge it based on going like this is what happened in the book because they're just not gonna be doing that okay sure fine uh, i will well, do it just like we did for the last one like sure fine you want to redo the book where they're older and where they, like Egwene has already promised me the wisdom it still makes no sense to shove her off a cliff here, it is just lazy storytelling mm. to have your dark, mysterious, knowledgeable characters come in the middle of the night where everyone else is relaxing and darkness is on their heels. Mm. Like, I'm sure here they were like, oh, let's see if we have them come in this way. Then it does feel 
like the trunks followed because you already said trunks. Let me say it again. Anyway. Like the trunks, like follow, like they brought the bad to this village, right? Like I, I see them justifying these moments, and they're just justifying like bad storytelling, which uh, it's I'm just surprised in because, that shot yeah. he didn't have like stirrups on his boots, you know, when they clinked along. That was so like right. Western, like <laughs> it really was. <laughs> All right, and it's like, what is is he supposed to look like the hooded guy? Like, why why is he wearing? Like, where is his color shifting cloak? Like, mm. what is mm. you know? He's not even where where is that? Right, like the whole thing that would mark him as a warder, and then you know, Nynaeve is the one that gets up. Like, I mean, okay, sure, fine, yeah, she's hot headed, and everything. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, try try to hold on to me, Jeff, for another minute and 26 seconds, okay? Just try and... Here we go. (laughs) Ah. I like that uh, rock focus right there. Yo, where's your gem? lady, can I help you? We'll need stables for our horses and a room for the night. Two beds and fresh linen, that's all we need. Of course, Moraine Sedai. What? Hi. <laughs> of course. If she gives a speech, if she gives a speech right now, I swear I'm going to. Oh wait, so just so I know, that you turned it off immediately after like the land part or did you turn it yeah, off I turn, I, no, I turn off the land part he didn't even say his name he just threw his hood back and i just like threw up my hands and walked away I'm so like i just excited so everybody's down with i said i now as they should be because uh, no they're, on, they're, <laughs> they're i mean they're not gonna people. revolt immediately but why why does she know her name what why why would they just they clearly just got there how did Moraine know the innkeeper? Mean, the innkeeper knows she's her. Like, yeah, hey, what's up? Good to see you guys. Well, so the, but no. No, I, yeah, I'm gonna here, calm down, calm down. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep. Going. We're gonna get through this together, my friend. <laughs> You're gonna have trauma for this for like years. <laughs> I wonder if there's anything that's. Why would they do this? <laughs> Why would they do this? Why? It didn't have to be the same. It could be different, but just not bad. Just not I'm terrible. I'm trying to think now of the equivalent oh. of something that, like, traumatized me as much as this traumatized you. Maybe X3. But I don't even know oh. if I was as upset in X3. I mean, X3 featured right. Cyclops dying off screen. That's like, that was... <laughs> Imagine that. I think it's close. I think it's close. My strange, anger about that. Strange, but uh, strangely, that travesty reminded me of that to cheer me up ever since. <laughs> but okay, like I'm gonna keep. We're gonna keep doing the pullback of like let's imagine it's just not like the book. Yeah. Okay. So we've already shown while the decisions being made, even if it wasn't like the book, are terrible. Everyone will agree with that. I'm sure. Um, let's say for this new one where she walks in, ignores Nynaeve for whatever reason magically knows who the innkeeper's wife is, okay? Um, because, and then the innkeeper's wife knows her, so she's apparently been here before, but Nynaeve doesn't know who she is, so Nynaeve hasn't been here as long. I guess the Imperial's wife is older. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, doesn't make sense. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't That's... make sense now. Doesn't make sense in the context of the book we read. Doesn't mean it doesn't no, make even, sense in this story. I mean, I don't know why she would have ever come there before right. because it's a little town in the middle of who the hell right. knows nowhere. So right. yeah, like why why would she roll up regularly in here? But I mean, who right. knows, man? There might be internal logic of it that they're changing a lot. Like maybe I don't know. I haven't read the whole series like you, so I can't speculate. Maybe she's. Well, I mean, maybe she's been checking in on them. Exactly, she like knows. she kind of knows this these boys, this age, right. so we go around regularly checking in. You know, maybe but they're then doing everybody, something like that. But then everybody in town would know that, like, I said I come here normally. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't think they do. Know that. Oh, but well, Then why did Nynaeve, yeah, why did Nynaeve well, just say, know. how can I help you, stranger? Oh, she said stranger? Nynaeve's, yeah, doesn't she back up? Oh. She Doesn't she say, how can I help you? Back, back this up. Okay, let's see what Nynaeve said. 
Is right. this far enough? Uh, uh no. no. We gotta it's... get her past the weird no, she's, fire she's gotta... thing she did. What did she do even, with the fire? Even if she... <laughs> because she doesn't even feel cold. Why would she go to the fire? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's before that. Oh. We'll need stables for a Imagine we know now. I saw context clues. My lady, can I help you? Yeah, who asked that? My lady, can I help you? We'll no, need no. It's not clear who said it. For yeah, right. One. Like, right. It could yeah, have yeah, been okay, egg. So it's, they show yeah, it's, egg. You know, it seems like it's her helping. Yeah. yeah, and she doesn't say, who so, are you? She says, my lady, can I help you? It's, it's, it's the reason is because Nynaeve asks Lan who he is when he's got the hood up. Right. So they could go with, like... They it could go. They do visit this place, but today he's got the hood on, so no one knows who it is. And then when he reveals it, then everyone knows. Oh, these are the people that come here every so often. Yeah, I and guess. they've showed up early because they know the Trollocs are in route, and they gotta like I guess. get them out of okay. there. And they've been checking on them regularly. Uh, okay, it's, which will all be right, revealed right. in this as the scene goes on or something. Despite my burning hatred, that is not as bad as some of the earlier things. So yeah, that that I mean, you can piece that together in a way that could make some sort of feasible sense. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm saying. It's going to be like real hard to judge this because you're right. It doesn't make sense in the way the book is written. It makes no sense in the way the book is written. But I I think yeah. they're going to go far afield here, and it'll be interesting to no, see. No, and listen, I do just want to sit there. But like, I'm if they want to go far afield, and it's awesome, mm -hmm. cool. Right, I just I just want there to be some internal logic and not ridiculous choices. Yeah. So, as we said, for the for this her being there regularly, the incubator's wife knowing who she is because of that, like yeah, and that, that could, could add to that tone. Fun. I mean, I still think the way Land walks in is always gonna be silly, but it could be like if yes. they know Trox are in route, then all of this is like it kind of supports that ominous tone that they're putting into this whole scene of everybody like turning and looking yeah. and being like oh my gosh you know like maybe yeah. it's even clear when when these people show up that's bad news when they show yeah. up yeah you know exactly that could be no no that, that okay if you're just watching this straight out sure fine right. i'll agree with that let's uh let's jump back to where we were here we go where is she needs fire for no reason <laughs> get some mad action some staring that's <laughs> a lot of staring Honestly. There we are. If you'll come this way. Oh, that was what? Nice. Yeah. Uh. So it doesn't really seem like. Again, if it if if time was of the essence here, I think she would have said something. <laughs> I was waiting for her to turn around and be like. Buckle up, everybody. Buckle up. <laughs> Break out like the Uzi and yeah. they'd be like, there's, there's trucks. Why guy, would you even. Motherfucker. <laughs> Why would you even release that clip? I don't even know. Okay. Um, well, y'all, tell Jeff why he is absolutely positively wrong down below in the comments, please, for my endless amusement. Please. <sighs> I just I want to say, again, <laughs> as much as I want the show to be great, please, please be great. Let me be wrong. Let me, let me be wrong that those are the only things that are cheesy and don't make sense. Um, I just hope that these aren't a, a thing of things to come. Okay, sure. So we want to we want to do the argument that passed down to the ages, we push wisdoms in the water to subconsciously help them with controlling something they don't really know they're controlling. Sure, fine. Okay, yeah. Um, Moraine's been there before. No urgency this time, though. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We can maybe entrance. Please, please, no two anymore. No more of those. Maybe. <laughs> November nineteenth. I gotta right. like. I gotta read faster. Uh, man. I don't know. I gotta... Oh my goodness. Do you, do you have Do you have any thoughts besides my just? Yeah. I mean, complete destruction of self. I don't know. Have you what, read? What, what do you like? Have you read? What do you What do you like? What do I hmm? like? I mean. Yeah. Would, would, is this exciting for you? Is this like? Good clip. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm trying. I'm trying. No, I'm trying. I would I'm trying. say like I liked <laughs> oh. this one shot. The walk in, yeah. 
I just like that she walks into focus, that's all. And that's maybe, like, kind of a cheesy trick. But it's it's yeah. better than, like, this part where he's just, like, standing there with his hood and it seemed, like, just really cheesy. Let's watch this part it's... again. So bad. Yeah. Yo, where are the stirrups? Come on. <laughs> you can hear them. You can hear them. You can hear oh, stirrups. And that shot is really That's like a weird hero, like pose, that. hero pose shot. It's so weird. <laughs> All right. We're going to get torn to yeah. shreds for this, y'all. But uh, please, please, when we watch the show, watch our videos and argue with us. Because we, lo we love it. We love to argue. We're going to argue with I do. Show. Um, I do you love to argue. It's just so sad. <laughs> Cheer Jeff up. Tell him why so he should be happy about all of these ch, -ch changes to his beloved uh, series. And um, yeah, Maybe I don't that's know. Surprising. I'm not super excited about Maybe. this, but this is a really short clip. It's not really doing much um, yet, um, but it's definitely delivering a tone. You get a I sense just, that something bad is definitely going to go down, so I kind of get that. Right. Um, whereas in the book, it's kind of like yeah. out of nowhere, except for being followed yeah. by the man in black was the thing that set the tone in the books. Yeah. So I don't it know, you might lose that. One thing that you might lose is like the Trog attack was like crazy out of nowhere. I remember like, I guess yeah. we're way into spoiler territory, but when it happened, like I was yeah. like, what? Like, it just surprised the yeah. heck out of me in the book. Doesn't really feel like they're going for that here because they're definitely, like, setting up, like, uh-oh, things yeah. are going to go down um, just in the way this is shot and the soundtrack and, like, everything. I, I also, I just don't... So I'm yeah, interested I agree in I'm... what um, fans of the book think about that aspect because, I mean, that's a, yeah. that's a big change, and I think that I'm on your side with that it's a little bit of yeah. a... Uh, it's a little bit of a loss because that was really shocking in the book and yeah. it won't you won't get that same sort of like jump scare almost out of this it doesn't seem yeah. like you know yeah no i'd agree with that i guess the other thing that's just on my mind is like okay let's say we know nothing uh this clip does give a tone right but it's just it's such a weird clip i feel like i'm watching a trailer on Amazon. Have you ever done that where you like go watch trailers on Amazon? Some of them are perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. And others of them are they're just like these random two to three minute clips of the movie. Oh. It's just a straight continuous shot that makes no sense. You're like, why are they showing me this scene? Like what this does not encapsulate <laughs> what this movie is about. I feel like I just watched an Amazon trailer, which I suppose I makes think sense. I think that expression it's right here is is perfect for you right now. Uh, this is I mean, this, this is you. Feel, this is you. Right this here. is me watching this <laughs> clip. Like why? Why this? I mean, okay, because they want to introduce the character, sure. Because they want to set the tone, I agree. Why? Why wasn't this like thirty seconds? Like mm. or like what's this later? Like I need, we need rooms. I'm gonna stand by the fire. It's weird. You're standing there. Why don't you follow me? I will follow you. End of scene. Like, what? There's like, there's no setup for it. It's a tease. What? It's a tease, you know? And I think Is as far it? as like kind of hyping up Moraine, Is which apparently tease? is our main thing that we're doing. Like, well, she doesn't do anything cool here. I mean, she walks she in. That cool. is the cool part. She looks cool. But like, why make it go that long? It's not like we're excited to see what her bedroom looks like that they're taking her to in the end. Like, this isn't leading to, like, the next scene. Like, I just don't get how someone could look at this from a marketing perspective right. and go, like, oh, this is good stuff. Yeah, no, no. Right right as she turns the corner to go up to her room. Cut it there. <laughs> I, I think that's just the definition. That's good. That's just the definition that's gonna of this. Too. Like, a clip is just going to be a clip, I mean, you know? I guess. I feel like they could have just stopped when she walked in, if you want to do that then. Like, mm. just have her walk in, done. You know, I don't know. It's just, it's just these choices. Like, I just wish I could agree with any choice, any choice that I'm seeing. Dang. Then I could get excited. Dang. It, it, just anything. Anything. Well, I mean, I guess some of the casting is cool. Costumes seem all right. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. Except, except for the ice. Yeah. Anyway, I'm smiling. Anyway, just want to talk about the nature of the clip and like why, why this ender. But 
until the next clip that destroys my soul. <laughs> you I look are not to going to make it through the show. You are not going to emotionally make it through the show, and I, I am so I, there for it. I'm going to I soak was... it all in every episode. I cannot uh, wait. I'm psyched. I was I was disappointed that there was only going to be eight episodes, but I think I don't think I could survive <laughs> more. Eight episodes of oh, it's going to get really, picked up for another season, and you're going to have to live with this for years. <laughs> years of your life being angry. I'll just I'll just have to stop like I did Star Wars. I, I think there will end up being no choice. But we'll see. We're not at that point yet. So, All right, everybody. Time. As always, <laughs> let Jeff know why he is so, so, so wrong, and I will be yeah. reading grief gleefully the whole time so we we look forward to hearing from y'all and please check out our podcast about the books as well because then you can send all the hate my way which is you know the normal order of things uh but we would love to hear what you think uh, of my thoughts fantasy noob reading my first kind of big fantasy epic uh, yeah check it out and uh we'll see you next time everybody see you then